In our project community, people stepping up, stepping in, seeing some amazing things happening right now as we navigate the impact of coronavirus. Monterey Peninsula College is trying to help medical workers on the front lines. The school is putting 3D printers to work to create a prototype face mask. They are hoping they will be able to send them to hospitals in need across the country. Action News reporter Christopher Salas shows us one hospital is already interested. After hours of melted plastic, perfectly weaved on a solid plate, Monterey Peninsula College professor Gary Quinones has his final product, a functional medical respirator. The machines are perfect for this sort of thing. They print in a soft material called PLA, which um, will, with simple you know, hair dryers, allow them to be heated up and bent to conform to medical staff's face. While Quinones executed the final product, the vision came from NPC student Jonathan Dupin while he was watching the news. I imagine a lot of people have become glued to their screens like I have. Dupin said he saw the desperate need for masks in New York. They're not complicated. A mask is not a complicated item to make. Um, that made me realize that hospitals might be interested in uh, in the capabilities of our of our school. The school's capabilities, 15 3D printers. They have already made the prototype that is going to be sent to Virginia Mason Hospital in Seattle. Uh, they said they are uh, running low on masks and that it is a problem and they're interested in having uh, these. And if the hospital approves, Dupin said he'll reach out to more of them. And then the printers will work around the clock. Right now I'm getting an idea of how well they print on each machine. My goal is to print as many as possible and perhaps give inspiration for other colleges. If anyone's listening, try and reach out to your community college or university and see if you have 3D printers. I can't imagine that a school would say no if they know that it's gonna save lives. In Monterey, Christopher Salas, KSBW Action News 8.